Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Do you know that you can now explore data in Microsoft Power BI service? Without getting or without creating a report, now you can get to know what is inside your data set. Just imagine one of your teammates has created a data set and you don't know anything about it, but you would like to know what is inside it, what are the columns or what are the rows over there. Well, Recently, Microsoft Teams has announced a very unique feature where you can explore your data set. And if you would like to know more about it, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. If you are coming over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you stay up to date with all our videos and updates. Now let's head over to my laptop. Over here, you can see that right now I'm on my Power BI service portal where I have created a new workspace on premium capacity, which is Copilot. In this workspace, you can see that I have one report named AdventureWorks DW. Basically, it's just a data set, not even a report over there. If I'm going to click over here, you would see that it's not even a report. So I'm going to go back over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just right click on my data set. So let me go back again. Over here. What you have to do, you have to simply click over here and see this option, explore this data. If you are not able to see this data, then please do check certain data set settings. Please do remember that this feature is still in preview. It has not been generally available. In case you have any concern, please do check the Microsoft documents. Over here, you have to simply click on this, explore this data. Once you would click over here, you would see that a new page or new box is getting open over here where you can drag and drop certain columns. For example, if I would like to check my city and then I can also check probably the sales. What are my total sales? So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to check the sales amount. So you can drag into the column. Now you can see that how it's appearing, but this is not going to happen like that. You have to drag and drop into another field, which is values field, not the columns field. My bad over here. Now you can also summarize it according to you, whether you want to do the sum, average, minimum, maximum, etc. All the fields are available over here, like you generally have in Microsoft Power BI Desktop app. And also you can see that the chart or the visualization is appearing over here. You can change your visualization according to your own needs, like you have in Microsoft Power BI Desktop app. And not only that, you can even sort the data according to the sales amount or the city, the way you would like to do ascending, descending, it's totally up to you. For me, this one looks pretty clear and this is the way to do that. Now, if you if you don't like over here, what you can do, you can also set it to this side by side. It's totally up to you that how you would like to visualize it. If you need to add certain filter, then you can also add filters and from the data, you can pick what kind of filter you want to add. And I said city over here, I can also say not applicable or just this city, or maybe I want to select certain multiple cities over here. What also you can do, you can add the legend over here. In my case, I'm going to add my legend, which is going to be my, let me check product and let me check the colors over here. So this is going to be my legend. That's how you can explore your data using this explore feature in Microsoft Power BI service. In case you would like to share this, you can definitely share directly from here. If you would like to save this, also you can save it. For example, if you would like to share, just click on this and here you have to first enter the name of this one. And I'm going to say exploring adventure box data. And you can also save it into any of the workspace that you would like to do that. And right now I'm just going to save in the same workspace and I can click save and share. You can also first save it and then you can share it. So we are going to click here now, save and share button. It's going to take a couple of seconds and then it's going to open another box with whom you would like to share this report. So let's wait. And right now this share box didn't open, but let me just click over here. And now you can see that this box is getting open. Microsoft team probably working on this one. Sometimes it happens whenever a new feature is coming into the preview one. So here you can share it and which is the similar option that you would see over here, but you can directly click on the teams as well if you would like to share. And here you can manage the permissions. So basically it's going to give you all the flexibility that you get with Microsoft Power BI reports, but you can explore it very quickly. For example, your manager or anybody from the management team, they would like to get to know what is inside your data. This feature is going to be very helpful. Now I'm going to close it from here 
And now I would like to refresh my page and see whether this one is appearing. And basically it's already over here. You can see that exploring adventure box data is already appearing over here. And this is the same that we just see. You can simply come here and click on the visual and you can see the visualization as well. If you would like to do side by side comparison that is also appearing over here. So what do you think guys about it? Is it gonna be helpful for you? Are you gonna use it? Or maybe your management is gonna use it. Please do let me know in the comment section and also stay tuned for more videos and updates. If you need any of the Microsoft Power BI training or any kind of certification training, please don't forget to contact with us. Till then, keep enjoying Microsoft Power BI and exploring the data. See you in the next video.